Hello, 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 my lovelies. My name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Yes, it is Sunday, the 18th of February, 2024, and uh, yeah, we're creeping closer and closer to the end of February, and I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes. We all know what's coming up on the 1st of March. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'll be so disappointed if I don't pass it. <laughs> all this hype and all this buildup and everything else, and then it's just like a dud. <laughs> but yeah I know that there is that possibility so mm. so like I said if you're just joining me thank you so very much and stitching in the interlake where I live uh it is the interlake region of Manitoba in Canada okay and so that's why I gave it the name stitching in the interlake so, um, yes, and my channel has been uh, underway for almost three years. Yeah. Does that not just... Does that not just... That is just... I can't believe it. I, can't, I cannot get over that. I cannot get over that. Yeah. So... What am I working on this Sunday? Well, I am back here to working on Fantasy Teacup. So I'm up here where that beautiful house is, fairy tale house or whatever. So I'm right up here. I still haven't finished this blue yet. And it's not for lack of trying. Not for lack of trying. But I have, I have been, I've been kind of doing double duty here. So during my video, I work on Fantasy Teacup. And that is this one. Okay, so I'm right up in here somewhere. And, um, but then the rest of the time, I work on, now where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Okay, and this is what I work on the rest of the time, which is um, Firebird. Okay, so as you can see, I'm really starting to, Fill it in over here. And I'm slowly getting there. I'm doing a little bit of fill-ins down in here. And, and that. And I still have something to put here. And yeah. But my goal is to get this these flowers done. And perhaps start on something else again in there. I'm getting close to finishing. Yeah. Yeah. So, somebody was asking where to get this design, and I will do a link up to it. Um, I wish I could post it on here. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I just don't know. I need somebody who will go through it with me so that I know what to do, how to do it. And, um, yeah, and then life would be so good. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, anyways, I did get it from Etsy. And it is a design from um, Tingle Cross Stitch. That's the store name. And they have lots and lots and lots and lots of different ones. I've gotten... I must have gotten 20 from them. 
that I bought over time. And um, I've got my own colorway. So what I will do is I will post this over there on the Facebook group, which is Stitching in the Interlake. And please, please, please listen. You must give me the name of one of my two sidekicks. There was one lady from Mount Forest, Ontario, who gave me a name, but unfortunately it was the wrong one. So I sent her a message and said to please go and um, look at it again. Watch a video, go to the end, because I name them at the end usually. Sometimes I may name them during the video, but yeah. And all this, it, why I do this is to weed out all kinds of um, trolls and you know, idiots and all of that. You know, we've all come across them. Oh, I got, here's a little word of advice. Maybe it's not a little word. Maybe it's a long. <laughs> anyway, the other day I got a message from my son, Christopher. And I was thinking, okay, okay. You know, I was talking to some friends, so I couldn't, I couldn't answer him back right away. So I said, well, I'll call you back at six. So I went and called him back. No answer. And then he wrote back and he said, Oh, I'm really tired. I had a rough day today. I'm going to bed. I thought, okay, okay. I just had some niggling in the back of my brain, though. So then, um, and always listen to that. So then I said, okay, I'll call you in the morning. And he said, yeah, yeah. So I tried calling yesterday morning and didn't get an answer right away, but then texted me back, oh, I had a very late night last night. I'm going to bed. I was thinking, what? What? I thought something's not kosher about this. So then I, um, I said, well, just for clarification. And I gave him a couple of questions. Can you answer this? And it took quite a while. You know, it took probably five minutes, 10 minutes to get a response. And the answers were correct. But I still felt something was off. And I just thought, no. Mm -mm. I thought, that's not, th there's something wrong here. So I called his bluff. And sure enough, sure enough, after I asked questions, didn't hear nothing. So be aware of all that that's going on. Okay? Because there's a lot of garbage that's going on. And be mindful. Like if you're questioning it in any way, in any way, Wait. First of all, confirm it. Okay? So maybe call 
your relative or your friend to say, did you do this? Did you do this? And uh, second of all, you can ask questions, but make it, um, just supposing, um, like, where did my sister get married? Okay. Uh, you know, what place did my sister get married? I should have used that one. And my sister died when she was eight years old. So you see where I'm getting, right? Um... Like you can say, uh, you can ask something like, um, um, you know, I found uh, some toys of yours and your brothers, um, and who had this, right? Make it a little bit difficult. If they are who they say they are, they will answer it correctly. But I was still, even though the answers, it didn't come like that. Right? It just didn't come. There was a gap like that person was trying to find out what the answers were. And um, what they do is they get onto your Facebook or your YouTube or whatever, Instagram, whatever it is, whatever it is. And they will take contacts and they may end up trying to, you know, they're impersonating someone. And then they may just say, Oh, you know, I'm going through a legal case. I need some money. I need some help. Can you please send me some money? Or whatever the case. Whatever the case. Right? And you just, you know, you can ask them. You can say, um, um, do you remember when you had um, leukemia as a child? You know, and what we had to do, what we had to go through. Now, if your child never had leukemia, they should come up with, Mom, what are you talking about? I never had leukemia. You know, okay. You know, or you ask, um, you make the question harder, but that person should know the answer and should be able to text you back right away, right away. Like not waiting 10 minutes. Because if it's longer than a couple of minutes, no. So naturally, of course, nothing now, right? So if you ever get a friend request from me and it's out of the blue and it just doesn't, you know, it just seems odd or whatever it is, right? then just come on the Facebook group or on the uh, YouTube and question. Ask me, did I do this? Now, even if it's not me, it's somebody else, right? Like I know this one lady and she keeps getting hacked all the time. And she would always... I would always get friend requests from her. And I would just write her and, and I would say, mm, 
you've been hacked again, you know? And she could never understand it, why she was hacked. She was always being hacked. I will tell you this. It's because, you know, you got all those, um, they're called clickbait, right? So you got all these things there and, uh, or all these ones where there are, um, you know, scams and you know, it's a scam when it's too good to be true, right? Like there were ones going around, oh, Amazon skids for $30 or $60 or whatever it is, right? And you can get a big skid for unclaimed merchandise. Amazon doesn't do that. They will sell them in their warehouse sale. Do you think they're going to give away a skid of, uh, you know, say with um, um, iPhones and um, uh, iPads and um, computers and all that kind of stuff. Do you think they're going to do that? <laughs> you know, or you get from, say, Walmart. This was going around for a while. Um, Walmart is giving away 50 $500 gifts, gift cards to the first 50 people who say me or whatever it is, right? It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Canadian Tire, there was some with Canadian Tire, there was with, um, oh gosh, I don't know who else, but Walmart is a big one. I think Costco is, a, is another one. Um, you know, just take a few seconds. Don't even respond, right? Because as soon as you start clicking on it, that's what they want. And don't believe what you read there from all these people who say, oh, yeah, I got my skid or, oh, yeah, I got my, you know, I want a $500 gift card or, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are made up names. Those are made up they're just all made up. You know, you have to take it that whatever is on Facebook, um, I don't know, X, um, you know, all those places, right? Look at it first as a scam. Okay. First do it and you can vet it. You can go and look, you can ask on Google. Is Walmart, is Costco, is whatever it is, you know, TJ Maxx or, 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 or um, what's the other big one there in the States? Um, Target, you know, are they do they have a drawing for this? They're not going to put it all over Facebook trying to get you to, to do that. You know, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. It will be in store. It will be at the bottom of your... Um, um, your receipt it will be an in-store display it'll be all that right so don't fall for it but that's how they get you know um if you're more apt to click on it right then they will do that and then they will somehow, it's getting so sophisticated. They will get in there and get into your Facebook page or whatever it is. 
and they will do that. So, yeah, it's not, just err on the side of caution. And also don't fall for this grandparent scam or whatever it is, you know, like, oh, I'm in jail. I can't get out of jail until I post, you know, uh, you've got to go and get um, uh, Amazon gift cards. <laughs> no police station. No, nobody is going to ask that. No. It's a scam, people. So, yeah. It just, it just didn't add up. You know, just didn't add. I was hopeful at the beginning that it was him. But, hmm, no. No, no, no. And they get your name from their lists, right? Their contact lists. So it's, um, I just would really not like to hear that you got swindled out of money. You know, and don't have it that, um, that, um, you know, somebody needs money, just supposing, for um, going to, they need an emergency fund or their vehicle broke down or whatever it is. And then it's like, oh, by the way, I have a friend who's right close by you. And they will come and pick up the cash. This is someone you don't know. You don't know who this person is. You don't know who it is. Don't be handing over money. Gift cards, whatever. You know, Bitcoin. All that kind of stuff. Like, Really think, really think, you know, you never met that person before. You never heard your child or your family member or friends or whatever ever speak about this person, you know. There's been a lot of people who've been caught on that, but there's also been a lot where the um, the person will call the the cops and will say, "This is what they're doing. This is what they want. Uh, they're sending somebody over here to pick up the cash." And uh, and always say, you know that, no, I'll do an e-transfer, you know, I'll do a PayPal transfer. I will do, you know, um, I'll go to my bank and I will do it that way, right? Like, don't just, there was one lady I think they had it. She was an elderly lady. And she was, I can't remember if she was at her bank or she was at Walmart or she was somewhere. And she she had to buy, I don't know, a thousand dollars worth of of gift cards, Amazon gift cards. So or or it was something at the bank or something and so the staff questioned her and they said this is not 
true. This is a scam. Just as a word of advice, do not get cut up, cut, caught up in this. Another scam that was going around on Facebook were all these, um, I haven't seen any lately, but it's, you get these ads and they're saying, store closing, must sell. Um, everything free, just pay for shipping. It's another scam. I, I, I got caught up in that one. I did. It was for diamond paintings. And it was, I was thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. But still, there was something niggling in the back of my brain. And it's, you know, they say, oh yeah, this is what it is. And this is, you know, this is, you know, and you get it. And the picture's bit this big, right? And you've paid whatever it is, $50 for shipping. Just say, I don't know. They say full size. Well, full size, this can be full size because it's the whole picture, right? Or a representation thereof. So don't get caught up in that wording. Always, 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 always err on the side of caution. Okay, so now. So um, I was able to sleep until 6.30 this morning. However, it was Jonah. It was Jonah this morning who was just meow, 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 getting up on top of the dresser, knocking things off, trying to get me to wake up. And that, yeah. But I was able to sleep until 6.30, so I was happy, even though it was a disrupted sleep. It's better than being up like at 4.30 or something. Oh, somebody was asking about, have, have I ever done an 11 count with two threats? And the answer is yes. There was one design that I was going to work on. And I tried it with three threads and it was too bulky. It was way too bulky. It's because of the weave, right? So I, I just went down to two strands. I haven't worked on it in quite a while. But yeah. So, um, and yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, just a minute, I'll show you. I was getting mixed up between my 14 count and my 11 count. And I had accidentally done these stitches here in two threads, okay? This is three threads. I don't know here if you can see. Is that any better? Maybe not. Still dark. Well, it's not dark, but it's, yeah. So you can see here how you can still see through it. It is doable. It's whatever you want. I like full coverage. I don't like 10 stitch. I don't, um, I like to have a full X. I like to have it 
solid. I don't like to have it where you can, you know, you're stitching it and it looks like a computer program, right? Like you can see the fabric underneath it and no. Mm, no, 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 no. That I don't care for. It's just not something that appeals to me. I know there's a lot of people that do, you know, and especially when you've got dark thread, like black or this 939 or 3799 or uh, whatever it is, right? And you're working with that, and it's so, the fabric, like, it almost overpowers the thread. If this is what you like, if this is how you like your designs, then go for it. I don't like that. I've never liked that. I've liked it where I can get a complete coverage, right? I I like to have that where it's, um, you can't see really the background. And, um, but that's my personal preference. So, but, yeah. Um, so next week, next Sunday, there will be a live, God willing, of course. The only reason why there is no live today is because Father Paul is coming. And we have Mass from um, 12 noon to 1 o'clock. So, yeah. So, uh... But otherwise, that's it. I can't believe it's 12 days and counting. So tomorrow, well, I could do it today, but typically tomorrow, I would say next week, next week. <laughs> I will be doing my road test. Yes. So I'm really, I'm looking forward to getting it done and finding out, will I get my driver's license back or won't I? And if I won't, if I don't pass it, should I not pass it? Which is, you know, I have to be realistic. I'm, I'm one to be, you know, I like to look at things square in the, in the face and um, not live in denial, right? Because to me, denial is a river in Egypt. So... I like to um, I like to um, say, okay, well, yeah, I can say be positive, forward thinking, all that kind of thing. And saying, yes, 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 I'm going to pass. It. However, there is the possibility I may not. And so, and then what is going to happen, right? So, what is it you, uh, um, there's a saying, what is it you hope for the best, but you 
something like that. You hope for the best, pray for the worst, or some something like that. That's not right, but... No, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. That's it. Yeah. So then... Um, so I already have... I already have plans and um, should I not pass it, then I will, I'll be selling Susie and um, yeah, and then just move on with my life, right? So... Anyway, otherwise not much else. I'm probably going to watch TV and um, and stitch today and see how my day goes. I am finding that my glasses are helping to a certain extent. Like right now, there's a light coming in from outside. The sun, right? And I, normally I would be squinting and everything else. I am finding though, like I have to bring it, the curtain across still. But it's just because of the glare. Oh, I was going to tell you, I watched this show on Netflix yesterday and it was pretty darn good and it's called the Texas Killing Fields and it takes place down by League City Texas and I've been there um, and it was about these murders that started happening in 1971, I think they even went back even further into the 40s. But um, there were these two that happened in 1971 and then, and then they picked it up in, what was it, um, 1984? or 88 or something, something like that. And it, it's a true crime. And it's well worth watching if you, if you enjoy true crime. And all the twists and turns and everything else that's gone on. And... Um, It was a group of women that were murdered over many years and dumped in the what became known as the Texas Killing Fields. So if you are interested in true crime, I would recommend it. There's only three episodes. They're an hour each. So you can... You can get it done in one afternoon, right? So, and I, I got it finished yesterday. So, I, I highly recommend that. Yeah, it's very sad. Very, very sad. And this one father's journey for, um, Not retribution, but to find out who killed his daughter. And, um, yeah, it's just not, it's not good when things like that happen. So, anyway, I guess that's it for today. <laughs> 
I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And today is a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day. And it's, uh, I suppose, I think it's supposed to get like minus three or something today. Minus two. So very good. So far on the first, it's a high of minus six, but bright sunshine. So I'm praying it gets warmer than that. So we'll see what happens as the time, time gets closer. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. So does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah, who's up in the cat condo. Every, oh, well, now he's awake. He heard me saying his name. Yeah, after he was meowing and trying to get me out of bed this morning. Yeah, yeah, not, that wasn't going to happen. Nope. So thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer. I pray for all of you as well. Okay, everyone. I I really hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And next Sunday, as far as I know, there will be a live. And uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm looking for, forward to it. So at least you didn't have to. <laughs> Look at my ugly mug for two and a half hours. <laughs> Anyways, have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Toodle-oodles, everybody.